I hope you all had a great Easter and I hope you're having a great day. It's kind of windy so I'll go in the chicken house in a minute but I wanted to show you there's another area. So now I have even another place for more flowers. My dad must have came out this weekend and surprised me by plowing it up. So now all we need is to till this area. This is in front and so I've got two little fields on either side of my cold frame. So let me take you inside there because I know it's really windy out today. I feel like I have so many updates today. And one, I used bleach again and I got that weird eye thing. So I was gonna talk to you like this, but it's cloudy and I can't see. So sorry about the eyes, but so many updates. So this weekend I did come out here and I was hardening off my plants and I had a couple hours and I was like, you know what? I don't wanna leave my plants because there were three rabbits hopping around outside. Two. Three rabbits waiting to eat my flowers. So I took them outside and then I thought I am going to clean this up. So it looks a little bit different in here. I cut this little wall out. It wasn't anything to do with structure. I had to move a lot of stuff. So I moved a lot of stuff. I cleaned out this corner. Um, there's a little bit more to clean out, but I kind of organized everything and made it kind of neat and I put most of my cages up. I do want to still maybe these bigger cages like hang them up on the top just because like I did it right here and it's really nice. It just keeps them out of the way and I have a lot of room to walk around and work and things like that. So I did that this weekend and I laid another piece of this black stuff which is nice because when I walk in I can just I might blow that other one off, but it doesn't seem to get my shoes as muddy. So that's a bonus. And then look behind me. <laughs> my grow room is full. So I started five trays of Celosia in my basement this morning. So I had to bring out a few more trays and look, I've filled it up and I've filled up my basement. I do have a few more spots in my basement now, but check it out. So many plants. <laughs> but the good part about this is that I am going to be putting these in the field. I've decided to start putting all of these flowers in the field. Um, the Lysianthus, I have the hoops around so I can put a shade cloth up. I even have greenhouse plastic. So if I need to, I can put greenhouse plastic on it and a shade cloth if it gets way too cold. And I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope the next 10 days it doesn't get below freezing at night. They're cool weather flowers. They should do okay. It always makes me a little bit nervous, but I got them in the ground and I think it was the 22nd of April last year, but that's because it was still freezing temperatures. The next 10 days are not. Now after that, it might dip down. It might snow again, it's Iowa. But I think if I get them in the field, I can put my frost cloth over them. And I think I'll harden them off that way too. Um, I've already been kind of hardening them off, so I think they'll be okay. I'm gonna start putting them in the field this afternoon. So after I put them in the field, I might let them sit there for like a few hours and get sun. And then I'm gonna put the frost cloth on, which I think will kind of act as a shade cloth. And then tomorrow I'll come out and take it off in the morning and then I'll put it on in the afternoon. And I'll just kind of harden them off by putting them in the field in the ground. That way their roots can start getting established while they're hardening off. And hopefully if we do have freezing temperatures 10 days from now, they've already pushed some roots and are getting happy in the ground. So I'm planning on doing that today. And I do have a friend that wants to come and help me. She's gonna come help a little bit today. I think after 1.30 and then on Wednesday, she said she could help. So she said she liked to do like be outside and do like weeding and do kind of that kind of work, which is awesome. So yeah, like a lot of updates. I have another area. I can't tell how big it is. I'll have to get my tape measure out and measure it off. Um, it 
I'm guessing it's 40 by 20 maybe, which would be quite a few rows. It would be a place to put my roses, which said are shipping soon. So I guess I'm going to have to see about getting it tilled. Um, and then all of these plants got moved out here. I'm getting ready to put them in the field. I cleaned up most of this little cold frame chicken house thing. I got that pond all cleaned up except for a couple trees. So I think I got a lot done this weekend. I didn't get a ton of video of stuff. It just, it was kind of Easter weekend and I was just running and doing things and just sporadically doing stuff. So anyway, that's the plan for today. I think I'll get, I might go ahead and get the frost cloth out of the house and out and kind of laid out so that it's ready. I don't want them to sit out there too long. The flowers, all of the flowers on this table have already been hardening off. So most of them are ready to go out in the sun for four hours anyway. These I just brought from home. So these are not ready for that. And I might even not put them all in the field today. Maybe I'll let them get acclimated to the greenhouse. And then maybe I will move them out to the field and put like shade cloth on them. I don't know because they'll be on different timing systems. I think I'm going to run out of room though because I do have about 200 ranunculus that I didn't have last year. So I plan on putting those in with the lisianthus and this, maybe the snapdragons. I might try a few here and there. And then hopefully I have enough for my hoops to cover. That's the plan for today. And I'll just take you along and keep you updated as I can. And since I do have a helper, I might not force her on her first day to be on a camera. Some people don't like that. So we'll just see how much footage I get and I hope you enjoy the process. Okay, so I'm gonna just go down this row and pull out weeds. <laughs> and then I'll put some 10, 10, 10 fertilizer. Just kind of sprinkled a little bit down the row. I don't need a lot of it. And then probably start planting some ranunculus and lisianthus. Yay! <laughs> My trays of lisianthus in. I had a lot of help today. We got all under the hoops weeded and then also Melanie went and got all under the snapdragon hoops weeded. So that's awesome which means tomorrow I can just come out here and plant and plant and plant and try to get as many plants in as I can. I did get about three trays of lisianthus in today and then we also got the cover put on. They did look like they were getting a little like hot so I was like well I'll cover them. This can act as a shade cloth and then tomorrow I'll lift it up and let them get sun and hopefully get the rest of it planted in with lisianthus and then it'll also be ready if it frosts and if I need to throw one more sheet over it I can um, but got a lot done today it's been a good weekend and I'll be back out here planting tomorrow I'll probably get some more footage tomorrow and then I think Wednesday I might have help again so that's awesome I'm getting some stuff done and getting some help this year it's a great feeling but anyway i think i'm gonna wrap it up and head home for the night and i'll be back out here bright and early i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and i hope you have a great day my first flowers bloomed on the farm these are actually really old daffodils that have been here a long time and i've been with my family all day so these got away from me but i'll spin you around and show you some that i can store so here are some that I believe, um, like this one is perfect for storing 
These are a little bit more open. This one's probably too far open, but because it's still bent and it hasn't fully opened, it'll probably still last in here um, for a couple weeks. So you can leave these in a cooler. You want it to be about 33 to 34 degrees. Um, mine's at 40 right now, but I've had the door open, but they will stay three to four weeks. You want to cover as much of the stem as possible. I could have probably even got a taller vase um, because daffodils actually lose more water through their stems. So if you cover all of the stems in water, which you don't do with a lot of plants, but you want to do those. Um, you want them 33 to 34 degrees. You want a really high humidity. So if I had time, I would cut, I could cover those with like a plastic dome and just make sure none of it touches the petals or part of the daffodil. Um, and yay, I'm going to take these home for my family to sit and enjoy. So excited. I was not expecting that. I came out just to open up the doors on the cold frame greenhouse I'm using to make sure my seedlings didn't get too hot. And I saw these on my way in. It's a great thing to see your first flowers and get them in the cooler and know that in a couple of weeks, I'll probably be using those in bouquets for my spring subscriptions and people are gonna start getting their flowers. Yay, I'm so excited. It's finally here. I'm so excited, check these out. They are looking lovely. I don't see any tops eaten off, which means nothing has been in here yet. We've got some shorter little varieties here. And some of these down here were planted deeper. But look at these. I mean, they're almost as tall as my hand. So getting to be probably five or six inches tall. Some of them even taller. Like those are even taller. And then these down here are planted deeper. So the stems are probably still long. But, and then it looks like I had a patch. Let's see what kind it was. The Mount Tacoma. There's just not, it's almost like this patch, this whole bag of tulips must not have been good. Because if you look at my whole row, I plant, I got all the same tulips from the same company. And then there's just missing patch. And then to the end is the rest. So 